Welcome to sixth grade creative writing. We are in pages 82 through 84. It's for lesson 137. And um, this is actually, there's two more lessons, lesson 138 and 139 that are creative writing. And then you're actually done with the creative writing for the year. Um, so a little bit of a, a moment there. I, I think it's a big one, but you may be saying, yay, we don't have to do creative writing, any, writing anymore. But I think that it's fun to give, um, to think of these mind stretchers and to think of these stories. So looking at page 82, um, so yesterday or the last lesson, um, you had quite a bit to do, quite a bit of pages and the you had that journal entry about the picture of Jesus holding the lamb and the, the feelings that you have that um, were brought about from that picture. So just to, um, be, I hope that that was an enjoyable um, journal entry to do, but um, I hope that it did encourage you in, in some of those things that um, maybe you thought of what what Jesus really is to us and, and maybe those were some of your feelings. So, all right, so on page 82, we've got the creating comparisons. We start this, com creating comparisons. Um, and so, mind stretcher going in circles. You're gonna divide the circle into as many parts as you can by drawing four straight lines, okay? So you only get to draw four lines um, and, and see how, how many pieces you can divide it into, okay? There's, there are definitely ways to make it go into more pieces than others. Um, so just, just to let you know. Now, the, the poem there, the sky is a street tonight, cobbled with clouds, broad and ample lit, amply lit. Why not step stone to the moon? With dreams slung over our shoulders and no need for a rocket? Lee Avery wrote that poem. Have you ever m imagined like this poet did that the cloudy sky is a cobbled street? Have you ever imagined a dewdrop glittering like a diamond in the morning sun? Have you ever imagined a crackling campfire sounding like popping corn? And, and those things are, are, are good to use your imagination. Just, just listen for what those, um, what sounds sound alike. Um, on the next page, when you form ideas like these, these, you are creating comparisons between two different things and showing an interesting way in which they are alike. They, these fascinating comparisons play an important part in creative writing. They describe and clarify details, but even more important than that, they add a new dimension, something to trigger the imagination and get it running, okay? Try comparing each word to the most original and creative idea you can imagine. Example, the waves, frothy waves and the white lace of a lady's handkerchief. Okay, so the wind, thunder, falling snow, a rainbow, a spider's web, an echo. Try not to use something that is a common phrase. You wanna be creative and original. The comparisons, so you'll do that. The comparisons that you're creating are called similes and metaphors. To make a simile, you say that one thing is like or as another. I wondered lonely as a cloud that, that floats on high or veils and hills. William Wordsworth said that. Uh, to make a metaphor, you say or imply that something is like is something else. A friend is the present you give yourself. Right? Robert Louis Stevenson said that. So you've got a comparison poem and a metaphor poem. There, the comparison apple blossoms look like snow. They're different though. Snow falls softly, but it brings noisy things. Sleigh bells, forts, and fights, cozy nights. But apple blossoms, when they go, white and slow, quiet all the orchard space till the place, hushed with falling sweetness, seems filled with dreams. There's your, your simile and then a metaphor. Fog comes on like, on, fog comes on little cat feet. It sits looking over harbor and city on silent haunches and then moves on. Carl Sandburg said that. 
or wrote that poem. Okay, so write uh, those original and creative ideas on that page. And then the last page, and we're, we're not doing all of it. We're gonna do the mind stretcher improvise, but the mind stretcher names, names please, are, is for tomorrow or for the next lesson, okay? So um, some comparisons have been so overused that they are no longer imaginative and vigorous. Do these sound familiar? Blind as a bat, pretty as a picture, easy as pie, fresh as a daisy, like a ton of bricks, like water off a duck's back. Which of these sentences contain fresh comparisons and which ones have old worn out comparisons? I'm gonna let you read through those just um, to get a, a visual in your head. See which ones actually bring you, bring a visual that you haven't heard before, okay? Those, some bring a visual that you have heard before, but um, like blind as a bat, <laughs> um, but see which ones that you can figure out are brand new. Avoid using trite expressions and comparisons. That's what the blind is about, pretty as a picture is. Create some new ones. So see what, if you can create new ones in your, in your journal book. And then do the mind stretcher, improvise. Here is a brick. Think of all the ways it can be used and write them in your journal. Do the same thing for a wire clothes hanger, a cotton ball, and a craft stick. Okay? So um, you've got a couple things to do in the book and then a couple things to do in your journal uh, entry book. So get to work on those and we will see you next time.